In this video, we will be discussing Data Control Language DCL. DCL commands deal with the permissions and rights or controls in the database system. These commands are typically used by a database admin, a DBA. The commands to be discussed in this video are grant, revoke, deny. So let's get started in SQL Server Management Studio. Before we go ahead and discuss any of the three DCL commands, we want to do a few things. Toggle open the databases, test database, and the test database go to security, and then users. You see that we have four users. We want to add one more user called DBA admin. Okay, and then we also want to add one more rule called report user rule. Okay, so to do that, I already have a script prepared. Obviously, we can do all these things that I just said with a GUI, but since we are learning T-SQL, we want to do everything with a syntax. So um, we are going to create a login, and then we're going to grant that login access to a database. The login is DBA, and we are granting them access to a database. Okay, so execute that successful. And now let's create a role, and the role that we are creating, we call that role. Oh, I thought I had the name, report user role. Okay. All right, so refresh users. There we go, DB admin. And then refresh database roles, report user role. So now that we have a user and we have a role, we can go ahead and start to grant some permissions. So we'll start with grant. The grant command is used to uh, give access privileges to the database system. So you can give permissions to either a user or a role. So let's see how to do that. So for the user DB admin, we want to give that user access to select from our table customer. Where is our tables? We want to grant that user access to select on the customer object. Okay. Right now, if you go to the properties, this user has no um, permissions at all. Okay. So we're about to do that. So we type in grant. And then what is the permission we want to grant? We want to grant select, OK, on what object? So we want to grant select on the customer object. And then we want to grant that permission to the newly created DB admin user. OK, so as a key that query block. All right, so let's refresh users. And now let's go back to properties and see what we have now. So we see now we have uh, permission selected here. Select uh, permission is granted to the user. And now they can have access to some data in the customer table. OK. So now let's see how we can grant permission to the role report user. So for the report user, we want to give them access, access to be able to create a table. So this is how to do that. You want to say grant. And what kind of permission are we giving to the user, the role reports user? We want to give them create table assets, okay? And to who? And we want to give that access to the role report user, okay? So execute that, and that is that. So this is how to use grant. Now let's look at the second command, which is revoke. Revoke command removes a previously granted or denied permission. Okay, so now that we have granted access to DBA admin to select, we can use revoke to, to take that access away. Okay, so let's see how to do that. So we want to type in revoke. And then what access are we trying to revoke? Basically, we are going to have to copy the same code. We are going to revoke select access. We are going to revoke select access on the customer table from, okay, not to anymore, <laughs> from the DBA admin. So now let's select this query block and it's acute. And now refresh your users. Uh, properties, there are no more securables, okay? So this is how to use revoke. Again, these are commands that are typically used by a DBA not all users have access to be granting and revoking access in a database, okay? So let's grant uh, one more permission so that we can see how denying also works, okay? So I granted select and grant one more. I will do the, uh, let's say delete, give the user access to be able to delete records from this table. So let me select a query block and execute. Perfect, so refresh this user. 
properties. Okay, so now we see that the user has access to delete and access to select, okay? And previously, what did we do? We revoked select. So let's see how to do that. Again, let me share this again. We have two different permissions for this user. We have delete and we have select. We are about to revoke one of the permissions, okay? So we are about to revoke select permission from the DBA user. So let's run this, okay? Now refresh users, properties, and now we would see that we only have one of the permissions left. We only have the delete left, okay? So we took one of the permissions away. All right, so the, the last uh, command to discuss is deny, okay? Now deny is used to prevent. Deny is basically to say no to a user or a role. It's used to prevent access privileges. So let's see how to do that. And it's very simple as well. We want to say deny. And right now, the only permission we have for the customer, so sorry, for the DBA admin is the delete permission. So we are going to select all that. We are going to say deny the delete permission that the, the, the user has on the customer table to our user DBA admin, okay? So out of all the, the permissions, it's only the revoke that we use the from here. Now at this point, we are saying deny that permission to this user. Okay, so now run that and execute. Okay, so refresh properties. And you see here, deny is checked. So we just denied that user um, access to delete. What are the differences between revoke and deny? So revoke is simply saying that a previously granted permission that I gave you, I'm taking it back. It's not necessarily saying no, it's like a neutral ground. But deny is specifically saying no, I'm taking it away and I'm preventing access. Revoke is saying that I gave you this permission, I'm taking it back. So it's almost like not really saying no, I'm taking you back to the states that you previously were, okay? So these are the three uh, DCL commands that we wanted to discuss. I hope you understood how to use these commands. Like I said, these commands are typically not used by regular users of a database. It's typically used by the administrators of the database, okay? But just to demonstrate how to use them, we have to go through it. Thank you for watching.